First, we are going to learn how to properly juggle a football. You take a ball, kick it once, then catch it. Straight up. Then you kick it twice and catch it again. You have to control the kick. If the ball doesn't go straight up, you go back to one. Now you try kicking it three times, and you do four, five, six, and so on until you learn how to juggle. Let's try it. One, one, two, good. Now three. One, two, three, excellent. Now I'm going to show you different kind of passes. There are two types. First one is so-called English pass. You perform it by kicking the ball and kicking, keeping the pace. Like this and step. That's the first type. The second type of pass is a Brazilian pass, when the leg stays behind. This type of pass is performed during the game, depending on situation. Let's try them both. Okay, first the English pass. Good. Now, let's try the Brazilian one. Leg back. Excellent. Excellent. Now I'm going to show you how to kick properly from your shin. Place the leg beside the ball and only bend the knee. If you raise your hip, it's not good. Look at me. There's a goal and fast from the knee. Now you are going to try and I'm going to make sure you don't raise up your hip instead of the knee. You two, wait your turn. Okay, faster. Come on. Put the leg closer. In football training, it's very important to learn how to receive a ball. I'll show you three types of receiving the ball mid-air. The first one is receiving with the inner side of the foot. You toss the ball up, wait for it to bounce and then kick it aside. That's the first type. Let's try. That's it. Second type of receiving is with the outer side of the foot. The same principle. Ball bounces and kick it aside. Let's show it. That's it. Good. That's it. Good. Third type of receiving is so-called stomping the ball. You toss it up and you stomp it fast from the knee. Bravo! Bravo! That's it. Excellent. There is another type of receiving the ball in the air and that's with the knee. The ball is in the air, receive it and I have it. It's important to slow it down with your knee, break the fall. Okay. Now I'll show you how to receive the ball with the chest. Throw me the ball. The important thing here is to spread your elbows wide to protect yourself from collisions. Come here, throw him the ball. To block me from accidentally hitting him with my head. Okay. Let's try.
I'll throw it. That's it. Next. Good. The next type of receiving is with your head when the ball is high. Crucial components are breaking its fall by bending knees and shoulders. Throw me the ball. And it stays with me. Now I'm going to throw it to you. Okay, do better. You have to receive it uh, so it stays with you. That's it. Bravo. Remember, it has to stay with you. So we have covered various types of receives, passes, and now I'm going to show you different types of goal kicks. There are kicks with the inside of the foot, the outside, and the kick with your laces. In each one you have to kick from the knee so that would be most powerful. Avoid kicking from the hip. Practice using the knee only. You have to learn how to properly do the kicks so that you won't have the problems in the match. The first kick is with the inside of the foot. The body can lean backwards or the ball will go high. The body can lean backwards or the ball will go high. That's no good. Your torso has to be in the line with the ball. Come on, let's try. The second one is so-called volley. You perform it from the run, straight to the goal. Come on. Next. Excellent. Third one is with the outer part of the foot. When kicking, it's important that you bend the ankle a bit, like so. You can also do it from the run, just bend the ankle at last moment. Excellent shot. Now you are going to see several types of dribbles. The first one is so called the basic one. It is performed one on one. I'll take a side step, move the ball, then take a shot. Let's try. The next type of dribble is so-called bicycle. I'll show you how to do it. Third type, I name Roberto Carlos, a player from Real Madrid, and you do it like so. Push it to the side, then left. Bravo. No. 
The fourth type of dribbling is with a roll, when you fake the pass, jump over the ball and finish it. Now I'll show you how to hit the ball with your head. First we'll learn the hit from the spot and then with the jump. Throw me the ball. Arms have to be high, got it? I'll throw it to you. That's it. The next one is from the jump. It's important that the force comes from the hips. Then like whiplash, it travels. Now I'll show you how to hit the ball with your head. First we learn to hit from the spot and then with the jump. Throw me the ball. The arms have to be high. Got it? I'll throw it to you. That's it. The next one is from the jump. It's important that the force comes from the hips. Then like whiplash, it travels to the head. Of course, you swing from the arms, like this. Now I'll show you how to double the pass. You lead the ball to the opponent's player. And when you're at 3 to 5 feet from him, you hit him and then you change the pace. Pass the ball to your teammate and receive it full speed. You'll see how it looks in practice, with the accent of changing the pace. Come on, change the pace. Oh, it's good. Now, you pick one. Now, now. 